never, ever stick your head in a hole on a tree just to see what's in it. Oh, no. This man got absolutely wrecked by a porcupine. Tell me this is photoshopped. Please, tell me this is photoshopped. Oh, how is he just so chill? Like, that's got to be painful. And he's like, meh, it's not that bad, and it'll make for a good picture. Bruh, what? What's going on, Modern Chodes? It's your boy, Long Nail, back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot post from r slash. Well, that sucks. Let's get into it. My pepper grinder broke this morning. Oh, and it broke in spectacular fashion. I guess those eggs are going to be a little bit spicy. Oh, man. Why does it always have to break over your meal? Can't break, you know, when you're bringing it over to spice the eggs. No, no, no. When you're in the middle of spicing the eggs, that's when the bottom decides to fall off. Of course, because why wouldn't it? That'd be too convenient for anything else to happen. Apparently, there's a staple sticking up on this bench. And apparently, you have a ruined laptop. I mean, at least all the hardware is probably still working, but aesthetically, yeah, that's going to knock that resale value down even more than it already is down. Yeah, this is what a Roomba looks like after it rolls through some dog doo-doo. Nasty. And unfortunately, I can say... I've had to clean up a Roomba that did this exact same thing. And let me tell you, there are way more nooks and crannies in this thing than you could ever imagine, dude. Like, I almost thought about just throwing this thing out when I was sitting there meticulously scraping all of it out with a little tiny toothpick and trying not to gag and throw up all over it. Like, ugh, so nasty. There needs to be a feature on this thing where it doesn't run over the caca. Just notice this massive tree next to my house is splitting in half towards my house, of course. Oh, well, at least you caught it early and hopefully can hire somebody who knows what they're doing to cut this tree down correctly and spare your house. But just make sure you don't go with the cheap guy because as we've seen from plenty of my videos that typically doesn't turn out that well. Yeah, so this happened, and guess what it says? Yep, well, I guess mission failed. We'll get him next time. Oh, uh, what? Dude, how about you put your phone down and try to get to the side of the road ASAP? I mean, I don't know anything about motorcycles, so maybe this isn't that big of a deal, but to me, it looks like a pretty big deal. I'd be panicking, not taking a picture. I'm a UPS driver. This was how my truck looked on the first stop of the day. It's not even our peak season yet. Yeah, unfortunately, I can say from experience working at FedEx that this truck is honestly not even close to the, the worst I've seen. Like I've seen some trucks that just are absolutely horrid. During peak season, they... They make you load like a certain amount of packages per hour at, you know, an insane rate. And then stuff just gets out of place. People are going too fast. Heavy things are going on top, light things on bottom. Stuff's getting crushed. It's just mayhem. So yeah, this is, uh, this is unfortunate. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Someone threw away the rest of my birthday cake before I was able to take it home. Okay, but hear me out. It looks like it's still sealed up in that container pretty perfectly. So if you really want that cake, I guess you might as well pull it out of the trash can and eat it because it looks perfectly fine to me. I know it's a weird feeling to take something out of the trash and then eat it, but if it's still in its container, I don't necessarily think that's weird. We got our doors painted during a remodel and the painters forgot to put the plastic covering on the ground. Well, I mean, on the bright side, you're gonna be getting brand new floors, hopefully, unless they're not insured, in which case, oh, that really sucks. But let's just assume you didn't go with the cheap guy, even though it looks like you did. 
and just hope they have insurance. After chugging down half my water bottle that I keep by my bed, I felt something solid enter my mouth, which I immediately spat back into the bottle. I went to the sink and poured it out. It was a cockroach. I'm now gargling mouthwash nonstop. It's 6 a.m. on a Monday. What? How does this happen? I've seen this happen to quite a few people now where they leave some sort of drink by the side of their bed and in the middle of the night, they take a sip and oh, what do you know? Something's off with it. Like I would absolutely lose my mind if I take that oh so refreshing sip of water in the middle of the night and instead of like complete and utter satisfaction, I get a cockroach in my mouth. Like, ugh. yeah, these tape measures, they definitely don't all measure the same. I guess that's why you don't go with the dollar store tape measure because it ends up like the one in the middle and then nothing fits how it should. And what do you know? From then on, it's just problems. So yeah, don't cheap out on the tape measure. Off work early on a Friday. Nice, man. I just want to get home. And it looks like there's going to be a slight delay on that. You know, not only are you probably going to get home around the same time you would have, now you're going to have a few hundred dollar bill on top of that you know, for the tow truck and the new tire. Nice. Guess I'll never place these two in the same drawer again. Yeah, I've seen way too many posts where people mix up the two things. So now I know, and I've basically always done this, to keep my toothpaste separate from anything else in the bathroom. Because if I put something else on that toothbrush, that's going to be a problem. So I don't even risk it. And I don't think you guys should either. Hey, on the bright side, I found the keys for my locked car. But, you know, they're locked in the car. Uh-huh. This is the worst. It's just teasing you. It's like, oh, uh-huh. you know, I'm right here. But what are you going to do about it? Nothing. You're going to spend a hundred bucks for a locksmith to come out and get the keys for you. My wife started painting ornaments for Christmas and only realized after she finished this bird that she did it upside down. Okay, but hear me out. Number one, this art is super talented, so I'm sure she'll get her money's worth. And number two, it looks like this was on the first one. So, you know, at least she didn't notice after she did 20 of these. I guess there's a bright side to everything. And if you really wanna get creative, just try to turn this bird into a bat somehow and it could work, maybe, I don't know. All right, Modern Chodes, that's it for the hot post from r slash, well, that sucks. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And of course, share this video with your friends. And if you haven't already, please go check out my second channel, Long Nail News. Till next time, guys. Peace.